A nice Saturday morning in Winchelsea, and it's going to be a big game against the Belmont Lions, the undefeated Belmont Lions. Tav and Bav, I've got to ask you straight up, are you guys going to be the first side to beat them? Uh, yeah, yeah, I reckon we are. I reckon we're on here, lads. So, um, watching some of their footage, uh, their ability to pressure the ball's been unreal, but I feel like if we get them on the outside a little bit, we should have a pretty fun day. I reckon it'll be pretty high scoring against... Uh, Fun, we'll have a bit fun with it. Yeah. Now the broadcasting, I haven't been able to see you guys as of yet, but when we look at your results, sure there was the one win, but all those other games are very competitive. I don't think there was a margin greater than 12 points for you guys yeah. in the losses. So what, what have you got out of those games? What's been the message from Foss? Um, I think he's happy with the fact that we're not falling away, which has been... But the last few years has been a big issue for us. We'll get to that sort of three, four goals down and just let disappear on us. Um, having them all between only two goals is oh, I'm furious about, to be honest. Um, and a lot of it's our own sort of mistakes. Like I think apart from the Thompson game where they kicked however many behinds, we were in every single one of those games and sort of let them slip. So yeah. I think... Um, Inaccuracy. Yeah, well, yeah, that's just sort of thing. Last couple of games. Sort of going away from the way we wanted to play and it slips away from especially in the third quarters. Like yeah. we, um, we have all the opportunity and we let those slip and we're behind the eight ball in the last quarter. So yeah. I think the message has been keep up the competitiveness 100%, but let's um, focus up on those little one percenters that are obviously costing us. Yep, and, and, the, and the midfielders, how, how are they looking? Not only in those last couple of games, but I guess that pressure you're going to apply on Belmont, who yeah. just have the ultimate depth, really, when you look um, at their seniors and resis. Yeah, well, we've got Cass Parrish back, which is amazing. He's just unreal. Like, we sort of let him go to work. Uh, Caleb Brown as well. When we get those two in there together, Caleb's injured at the moment. But when we get those two in there, they're just they're great. I reckon they're probably top two midfielders in the comp. So we chop, we chop them. You mentioned um, your absences in terms of your playing stock. I also mentioned Foss a second ago. Will we see him today? Uh, no. So Foss has um, obviously picked up the gig 10 days out before the start of the season and uh, already had a holiday book. So his wife Joe would be pretty pissed off if we took him away from that pretty quickly. So, uh, yeah, Jordan Huff's going to take over the coaching gig for the next four weeks, actually. So um, Huffy's a pretty mature head amongst the group. of what well, is a lot of young fellas. So he's, um, he's pretty yeah. excited for the gig and... Keep your tabbing line's going to be hard for battle, but yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah. yeah. Now, my understanding, we're not printing the GDFL record anymore, GDFNL record <laughs> anymore, but there is a best selling publication just over your yeah. shoulder if you'd like to give that a plug. Uh, this is Bab's newsletter, so every week we, um, it's only kicked off the last couple of weeks, but we just sort of a little snapshot of the results. Um, you know, we've got Pat and Steph's word of the week. Get on the socials. We do have a backline player every week. We don't get a lot of uh, recognition down there. So I'm a young fella in his second senior game pulled that up. If you can see that. And this little bit mode is actually my boss from work. She gave me the template. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of fun. Point out some key stats. Look at the ladder so the boys know where we're at. And you know, put up those results that we are losing so the boys get a bit of fire in the belly. Well, you guys have always been a great club off the field. A united front and with some very special rounds coming up and your netball's been exquisite in terms of their success yeah. in recent years. Yeah. So we wish you guys all the best, but one final plug for our league. It's the match of the round at the West Oval. Who wins it, boys? Geelong West with the home ground advantage or East Geelong, can they get five wins in a row? Um, oh, I'm, I'm going east. You're going with east. I'm actually going to say west. I heard on the grapevine that uh, Braden Mitchell might be making a return. He, he kicked six today, I reckon, so he um, could be on. Right. Who's the uh, bloke from Barnett? He had probably 30 odd last week. Oh, awesome. uh, from <laughs> east. Oh, uh, yeah. I couldn't tell you. I, 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 reckon, I reckon he's one more. Yeah. But it's going to be a big day, and look. Like I said, with your results, I'm sure you'll give Belmont a scare this afternoon. Yeah. So best of luck, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Thank kids. You,